I think prob probably. I mean, it's a bit. It's you, you don't want to, as I say, put too much pressure on these kids. But um, he's been playing with the defensive group um, off half back. He's a beautiful ball user. Uh, pulled out a free kick here. Is it Tommy Papley? It's opportune that Tom Papley has the ball. A lot of speculation as to where he was going uh, towards the end of last year. Mm. So happy that he. Um, stayed put because goal kicking was an issue for the team during the course of the year as he kicks his first of the day and the Swans first as well so 117 2 14 someone says oh you're not putting in or you're not producing it's got to hurt but I've seen them so many times come up here players yep that you don't get recognized as the kick comes from Florent uh, no that was Rowbottom so that's a goal to the Swans so Rowbottom kicks a much needed one their second goal of the morning so they are two goals for 16 we're underway again this is the third term of this game as florent takes the ball for the swans kicks it inside 50 conditions have worsened over the last 10 or 15 minutes papley tries to get rid of it goes as far as uh, mcdonald he does well gives it off and the goal has been kicked by james bell and that's a lovely start to the quarter by the sydney swans and he would have been Impressed with what you've seen of uh, Josh Kelly there, Ramps. He's been very, very silky so far. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you hit the nail on the head. The, the cream rises at the top in these sort of conditions. And, you know, we saw Toby Green, um, not, like beautiful skills, clean skills in the first half. And, you know, same with Josh Kelly. As that kick is beautiful from Ollie Florent, that's gone straight through the middle. So the Swans now narrow it up to nine points. Uh, reasonable margin given the fact that uh, I don't think the Giants have scored in this third period. No, they haven't. The Swans have kicked a couple of goals. So Errol Goulden likely to play next week and rightly so just has fitted in perfectly. So too Braden Campbell and Logan McDonald as well up forward. Hasn't had the opportunity. It's not an ideal day for a tall forward as Bell gets his boot to ball from about 25 out and kicks another goal. So the Swans get it back to within seven points you know they can they can get to um and that's just coming from a senior player that wants to you know succeed and everyone to you know i guess the depth of the team to really you got that one through yeah there put that go. one down to What's your that, man that was, was that from errol gordon again yes, errol gordon. Go. and he looked up what i liked is he looked up he had two options he had uh papley one on one and he didn't go short he went long and just trusted papley's speed so he, he basically was an ugly barrel from yeah. uh gordon that just worked it and you could see there papley v isaac coming over pace over 10 meters you're back uh perhaps every day yeah, of the week i mean it's a, a the great decision in, in the conditions um, and that's again what we like about Errol is his decision making he's a, he's a real footballer Haynes wants to come inside gives it off to Taranto he's tackled well and a good tackle there from Logan McDonald sees the Swans go into attack whistle on this one the umpire's seen Free something kick to Sam Reid for the holding of the arm Sam Reid comes in measured kick umpire doesn't move and the Swans have got another one on the board and they bring that margin back well, in fact, they take the, the lead, 7-11-53, the Giants 8-4-52. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you head to the website to check out the Nike preseason hub.